first thing we are going to do is we have to install the squid in the proxy server the operating system we are going to use is ubuntu server 22.04 so you should be going to ubuntu website official website and should be downloading the iso which will take couple of minutes 5 10 minutes depending up, uh, upon your internet speed once the iso is installed you should be using either vmware workstation or virtualbox whichever you are comfortable with so i have uh, vmware workstation with me so click on the virtual machine now if you are using uh, virtualbox the steps might be slightly different but the basic objective will remain the same so click on the new vm click on the next choose next here obviously we are, we are going to use linux as the operating system click next here to uh, give it a name i call it proxy and next 20 gb hard disk is good enough for the proxy to work with click on the next finish here we'll do small customization so click on the pro uh, the proxy which comes on the left hand side panel add it so it is running with 4 gb ram and 2 core of cpus i can slightly cut down on the ram 3 gb ram or 2 gb ram will be good enough so i say approximately say 3 2.9 gb ram will be good enough for this and 2 core of cpus fine so i can have uh, one core of cpu also it will be slightly small but okay let me take one core of cpu so one core of cpu and approximately 3 gb ram is good enough it is as i have told you if you if you, you uh, remember the previous uh, section i told you that the proxy should have two interfaces one is nat which will be going to the internet another is the host only so they here they are going to do a small change make sure that the first lan card is in the nat mode don't touch it click on the next network interface finish so you will have two interfaces just select the second one click on host only this is what you you have to do and finally choose your iso click here your cd choose iso and browse to the location where you have downloaded the iso so i have my 22.04 server here this one so i will use this 22.04 open okay and just power on the machine it will take five minutes here we are yeah install 100 percent we are going to install it and then now uh, the installation will take time depending upon how much resources you have given to the vm this particular vm so i had given one core of cpu and 3 gb ram which i think is decent enough for it to work because it's only going to we are going to use it only as a proxy to go to the internet remember that previous diagram so it's the installation is going to start it is actually started so this is it so first we are going to install the os once the os is installed we will move to configuring it as a proxy server once the proxy is set up then we will move on to the kubernetes cluster so we, we are building the cluster from the scratch now these things are not uh, visible when you use managed services like aks eks obviously they had a huge network they have a huge network and everything is pre-configured but it's a good learning experience if you know how the network works and how these components are interconnected with each with each other in an enterprise data center so it's just checking up starting up the installation process it won't take much time so once it is done we will do ssh to this machine and we'll start configuring it as a proxy or the squid package need to be installed on this machine so let it start it is starting up perfect so the important part is we have to take care of the network we have got two interfaces two LAN cards so first one is in the NAT mode second one is in the host only mode so we have to remember that that which interface is in the NAT mode and which one is the uh, host only mode then we will be uh, doing the configurations as per the interface type so we'll wait let it start now coming up soon
it's the installation is a total CLI, no GUI available. Ubuntu 22.04 LTS long term support. I hope you can see that on the screen. This part. So wait for a minute. So likewise, we will be installing other operating systems. The only difference is it won't have two LAN cards. The rest of the machines, manager, worker one, worker two, will have a single single LAN card, which will be only in the host only mode. They will not be allowed to connect to the internet directly. Here it is, English language, update to the new, new installer, we don't mind. So let us update to the new installer. Won't take much time. Again, it depends upon your internet speed. So it is going fast here. So give yourself time. The first thing that you should learn is how to learn, right? That's more important. So give yourself time. Do take small, small steps. First install the OS. Okay. Then configure the proxy. Fine. It is running. Let me run other machines, connect to them, check the connectivities and gradually we will build the cluster. So here we are. 22.04 is coming up soon. You should give more, uh, if you have resources, feel free to give two core of CPUs, more RAM. The process will be slightly faster. So here it is, cloud in it. The installer is starting up now. And we will be proceeding with the installation here. Perfect. English, US, 100%. Ubuntu server, yeah, server, done. Now this section is important. Make sure the first hand card, which is ENS33, it is the NAT, so it should always get the IP from the DSCP. And the second one, ENS34, is my host only. So this should not get the IP from the DSCP, it should be getting a static IP. So I should go use the arrow keys, go here, add it, enter, manual, and my subnet is 10.0.0.0 slash 8. Yeah, I hope you remember the previous class, I had explained you the network which we are going to create. So the proxy IP is 200. Don't touch the gateway and this not needed. Perfect. Just confirm it. It is applying the changes. Wait for a minute. Done. Perfect. Use arrow key. Go down. Just we this in itself is a proxy, right? So we don't need to configure the proxy here. Just press enter here. Internet should be available to download certain packages. We also need to install OpenSSS server here on this machine because we are going to access this machine from Putty or Mobile Xtrum to manage it. It's checking the mirrors or whatever is available. It's passed. I press enter here. Now, don't touch the partition. Let it be whatever it is. We are not going into the custom partitions. Just done. It's going to give you a warning. Continue. Specify your name, Alok. Server name, I call it proxy. Pick a username alloc, password in my case is Red Hat. You can use your password. Done, that, done, that. This one is important. Please make sure you install OpenSSH. You, you use the space bar to select it. Done. No other package need to be installed. We'll be installing it manually. So don't do anything here. Done, that's it. So it takes some time. Two, three minutes, four minutes, and the operating system will be installed. I'm pausing the recording here. The right, the moment it comes up, I will unpause the video. So the operating system is installed successfully, as you can see. It it has taken around four or five minutes. So all I need to do is select the reboot now. and we will be logging into the machine and check the IPs and all the things, that's all. And once we have logged in, the next job is to configure this machine as a proxy server. So we are going to install Squid for the purpose. So let it start, we will be doing a login 
and check the icons. Press enter here, it will be giving you a message. Enter, the machine will start. Here we are. So we'll be able to log in soon. Perfect. So I logged in as Alok, password is Red Hat and I checked the IP, IP address show. So you, you can clearly see it has got two interfaces with one is ENS33 and the other one is ENS34 which is having an IP of 10.0.0.200. So I'm going to uh, do SSH on the public IP 192.168.121.145 that is the public IP. So that is the IP address we are going to hit. So the operating system is installed and I should be able to access the internet obviously. Right. So if you are okay with this, you can move to the next topic where we are installing or configuring this machine as a squid proxy.